I did not plan this out, so bear with me. Hey, it's Ali. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today we are doing a long awaited by me. I don't know if by you, but by me, uh, shelf tour and also organization video because I am leaving the country very soon um, on a little vacation. And I've been trying to reorganize this room and I finally am ready to tackle my filming area. And there are some things that I wanted to like switch around and I thought because you know I really like watching shelf tour organization videos especially for like weaves and stuff I thought why not why not do one today so that is what we're gonna do on this gloomy Sunday I actually have a lot to do today so this is nice to kind of start off number one thing I want to do is I kind of want to switch out this this is my um pop figure collection it's very small I don't really collect pop figures like that but pop figures and I've noticed in videos you can't really see anything, any of the pop figures because the glare of the light, like you can't really see them now, like you can kind of, but not really. So I thought I would switch that out with what's up here, which is my Shonen Jump collection, which is my vintage like Shonen Jump manga collection. And I really, really want that on display. So I might move all of this down here and vice versa. Yeah, we'll get into it, we'll get into it. And then I have this over here, which is like, all of my figurines and stuff. We're gonna, we're gonna get into it. So if at any time you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. And I would love to do more videos like this as soon as I get more space. <laughs> I wanted to get um, floating shelves, hanging shelves like around my room, but I just ran out of time and also I don't have money for that right now, so. But if you like this, we could definitely do more. I have so much nerdy stuff. I have an entire two full bins of comic books down here that I have not like really sorted through yet. And I would love to do that on camera for y'all if you guys are interested. So yeah, let me know down in the comments and let's jump into it. So as you can see here, I have my Shonen Jump magazines here. They're very nice, very vintage. In fact, let me take them like off the shelf. So you can see the oldest one that I have, I got from my best friend's brother when he was like moving out of their room. It is from 2003 and you can definitely tell. I actually did a video before. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I actually did a video before talking about um, everything that like this is, this is like one of my first videos on my channel. So if you wanna see like what's like in these, I can do like an updated version of that video because I know the audio in that video is probably atrocious. So let me know if you would want that. But yeah, basically I have one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have 10 of these. I stopped collecting them a while because I could only find them at Wegmans. Such a random place to like find them when I was a kid. Like I could literally only find these at the Wegmans grocery store um, because they had like an entire section full of like magazines and these were the magazines that they had. So I, do they even still make printed versions of these? I know there's like an online version of this, but I don't know if they make printed version still I would love to like collect more of these especially the ones that I have like gaps in like I'm missing six and some of these back here yeah so I would love to like collect them but right now I don't have the space nor do I have the time to go out and like hunt these down on like eBay or whatever but yeah I think this is really cool is vintage technically actually these are vintage now 2003 is considered vintage 20 years old so yeah and you can tell the pages are like yellow and shit and then also you can see i have my trunks figurines up there <laughs> but anyway um i'm gonna start by taking these down uh i also have some manga up here my manga collection is very very small um i have this naruto ramen like it was like a special collab with ichiran and so i've just collected them i just have them like i have not gotten rid of them and they're probably really bad to eat now so <laughs> yeah these were like the same thing it's just one has a cover and one doesn't but i like the look it's very nerdy very very nerdy okay so yeah and then the rest of what's up here is just mangas that i have naruto one piece some of these are pretty i love this like, I know when I start collecting the One Piece manga, it's going to be this one. This, like, gold foil one. And you can tell that it's, like, kind of old because the pages are yellow. <laughs> but, yeah. So, I'm going to start by taking these down. I don't have a lot of manga. I did just get the One Punch Man. One Punch Man? Sorry. Mob. Mob Psycho. 
I have like three new mangas to like add. The Mop Psycho 100, number one, Toilet Bound Hanukkah Kun. And I also have the Toilet Bound Hanukkah Kun um, art book that I would like to add to this, but I don't think I'll have room, but we'll see. So I'm gonna start by taking all of this down. Let's do that. All right, so coming down here, like I said, this is where my pop figures are. Um, really cute. I just like, you can't really see them in the frame of the video. Like I said, the light glare kind of bounces off of it and you can't really see them. Let's do that. And I'll do a little show and tell while I do this. Um, I don't have a lot, like I said, most of these are gifts because I don't really collect pop figures like that. My best friend is the one who collects the pop figures. Um, yeah. I only get ones where if I really, really like the design, like Trevor Belmont's design from the Castlevania series on Netflix, and he was on sale. Like, get into it. Joey Wheeler. This was a gift, I think. This was a gift. I Like, literally, I'm pretty sure, like, all of these were gifts. Like, I don't remember the ones I bought myself. Trunks. Okay, I should actually put these on the floor because I'm going to, like, reorganize the whole thing. I'm just dropping them. <laughs> Alright. We got CB uh 6B from Star Wars, which I don't even know what is this from the show? <laughs> I don't even know if this is from a show or whatever. Um Aizawa Bakugo. You see Bakugo here. Cute. Like I said, I only like the ones with interesting designs. Because some of the designs are not interesting. Um we have the Praetorian Guard from Star Wars. I really like um, Clone Wars and like the clones and stuff. Like I really like the Imperial Guard in Star Wars. I really like their designs, especially the ones from the newer movies. Sue me, but their designs were so cool. And I wish we learned more about them. This was definitely a gift. Yami Bakura. Oh my God, he looks so cool. Bulma. Dipper. Finn from Star Wars. Shiro from Voltron. He's supposed to glow in the dark. Um, I don't know if he still glows in the dark anymore. I, that's all I gotta say. And we have Pochako Deku and Batsmaru Bakugo from the um, line, fr not line friends. Line friends is a different thing. Um, what the hell is it called? The Hello Kitty friends, whatever it's called. Sanrio, Sanrio characters. Oh my God, y'all are gonna like revoke my Sanrio license. Oh my God. Anyway, yeah, now it's clear. <laughs> now I can start to put the manga in here. Let's get to that. Okay, so this is it finished. I know it's still not like the best it could be, but hey, this is what I got with what I got. I'm just saying, until I get more space. <laughs> um, I, I forgot I have this, but it's on my to read list. So I think I'm just gonna take it with me when I leave to go to London. I'm just gonna take this with me. So I'm just gonna put it on my bookshelf. I mean, on my desk, I mean. Okay, next up is the pop figures up here. This should be fun. Let's get to it. Five minutes later. Okay, we almost immediately ran into a problem. Um, there's not enough space. 
for these to fit. <sighs> what are we going to do? Because, like, I desperately need them to fit. <laughs> a few minutes later. Actually, change the plans again. I realized down here, the bottom rung here has enough space for this. So, to stack them. So, I'm going to put my CDs and DVDs up there, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to move the CDs and DVDs up here and then go down here. So... I guess we should get started on that now, huh? <laughs> okay, here we are on my floor. Oh, 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 oh my God. Hello, <laughs> here we are. Oh, the lighting is so good down here. Oh my God. Anyway, here we are on my floor. Um, I don't have a whole lot down here. I don't really collect DVDs like that. Um, I do have the Gravity Falls full co complete collector's series edition whatever <laughs> um oh my god did you guys know is it still in here it should be still in here look at this look this comes with it ah come out come out it's the note dipper gets at the end of the summer at the end of the series tell me i was crying I literally opened this and I started bawling my eyes out. Anyway. Okay, other things that I have down here. I have Red vs. Blue seasons one through three. When I was obsessed with Red vs. Blue. Let me just take these out. Okay. I have beautiful creatures. Like my aunt, back during my like teen drama romance phase when I was a kid. My aunt got me this because she worked at a blockbuster. Um, I have Venom say what you want about this movie but it's 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 goaded anyway <laughs> i have the lego batman movie so cute the best batman adaptation fight with your mom i have italia seasons oh god <laughs> italia season three and italia season four i got these at best buy i remember because i was a kid and my dad had to like be there for me in order for me to buy like i couldn't buy it i had to give my dad money so that he could buy it while i was at the best buy because this is an r18 show and my dad just was like okay <laughs> i was probably like 14 at the time like oh i tell you oh and then i have pokemon rise of dark rye this is my favorite pokemon movie i have just a bunch of like birthday cards that i never get rid of because i'm too sentimental of a person um i have promare on dvd because come on now i have uh pokemon destiny deoxys which i think i stole from my best friend so thanks nalo and then also my second favorite pokemon movie um i have akira um which i think my friend got for me at the thrift store because it's 2.99 and i think he got it at the thrift store so shout out to him and then bts love yourself um tear her her um you can't really you can't really say that but yeah this album means a lot to me because this album came out the day my mom had to get heart surgery yeah so i was like very much so in the car listening to this trying not to have a panic attack so this album means a lot to me and then i found this i think i either found this at the thrift store or my friend found it at the thrift store it's just speed racer and it's cool because it looks vintage and i like speed racer it is vintage not it looks vintage and then i have bastille doom days on cd because it's one of my favorite albums and they were giving out free cds so we got free cds and lastly cuphead 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 <laughs> um ice bear mug that i got from the store in the mall which was really really cute and i need to move it to the actual kitchen so i can use it properly it's just been sitting on my shelf so yeah now we're gonna put um the pop figures down here
Oh, I totally forgot about these. <laughs> Let's move this down. So here, I totally forgot about these, but I kind of don't want to cover this up. Will this fit right here? Will it fit? Oh, will it fit? No, it won't, but I have an idea. Bear with me for a second. <laughs> If it's, oh, you didn't see any of that. Sorry. <laughs> this is what it looks like. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Okay. Because I, originally I had it here, but it's blocking the Naruto and One Piece mangas. And I don't like that. So, y'all. Yeah. That's kind of it. Like, if we really sit that back and look at it, that's kind of all the organizing I wanted to do on this show. Just because this, this is my Zine and uh, comic book volume collection. And that's a whole separate video. It's a whole separate video. So I figured I'm gonna just leave this alone for now. It looks rough, but I wanna do a whole separate video maybe next month about it. Let me know if you wanna see that. To the next shelf, these are Pokemon cards. We have a lot to talk about in this next shelf. <laughs> oh, this shelf. <laughs> this is where all of the knickknack, paddywhack, give a dog a bone shit is. Just loose stuff. And I just wanna make it more presentable for filming so I'm not gonna change too much stuff like as you can see if we were to go like right here from where I usually film you can see that there is stuff there but it's very hard to tell what stuff originally I had this over here this is the one piece tarot card deck that I got it's so cool it's so pretty they're gold like sided so pretty anyway you can see it on camera, but you can't tell what it is. So what is the point? So I was thinking of switching Usopp over here so you can actually see him. Oh, Sunny, Sunny, no! Oh my God! Oh! <laughs> okay, um, Sunny just decided she wanted to implode, but um, here's the going Sunny. <laughs> she looks so crooked. Ah, and the stand fell off, oh my gosh. This is why I don't touch her. Um, but here she is in all of her glory. I love her. Um, the bird's nest fell off and I don't remember where it goes. <laughs> so <laughs> she's just gonna stay off for now. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put her in a place where you can see her better like during my videos and stuff. So she don't wanna focus, okay. Um, so probably more tilted this way because right now she's tilted that way. And of course, as soon as I touched her, she started to fall apart. I got this from like an anime store where they sell like Gundams and stuff. And they have little things like these that you can build. And they're really fun to build. It takes a long time because you have to put all the stickers on. All of these stickers were put on. But um, it's fun and it's cute. And now I have Sunny. Wow, that took way too long. Oh my God. Okay. Anyway. Um... <laughs> Okay, we're back. I had to fix that. But yeah, I feel like that's a lot more like you can tell what it is when you see it. Um, up here is my anime etc. corner. <laughs> so right now, I just got these lovely th things. This is not even anime. But I got these lovely cards in the mail from this artist who I follow. They are so good. They're Velinxy on everything. And they have a webcomic on countdown to countdown which i really love but they also make percy jackson fan art and they made this beautiful ass percy jackson fan art like look at this so cool these are like in the style of the mytho magic cards and um i originally had them here and you can't really tell when i when you see on camera um here we just have sonic <laughs> let me zoom in a little bit more we have sonic just going at it <laughs> See, everything is in a delicate balance, and as soon as I remove something, something else happens. I have a bunch of Jujutsu Kaisen fan art and merch that I got. Um, Fire Emblem Three Houses back here. It's overall just a mixture of like anime and stuff, and I have a bunch of like photo cards and stuff back there from anime. Yeah, that's about it. I'm not gonna touch it because, like I said, the second I touch it, it's it's an issue. But I'm gonna move these to down here, down here to this area. Right now, you can see this very well on camera, so I don't wanna block it too much, but I do wanna add these here because this is like where all the cards are. It's like a game of I Spy. 
down here. It really is. <laughs> like, we could genuinely play a game of I Spy by how much miscellaneous shit that I have. Speaking of which, the Pokemon cards. So, the Pokemon cards, you can't really see. Hold on. I have Pokemon cards that I got from the Pokemon card meal, and I don't know what to do with them. I want to get, like, a little pack. I don't think I'm going to start collecting Pokemon cards anytime soon, but I definitely want to get, like, a little pack or a binder or something to put the ones that I do get in because I do value these even though these because they're from a Pokemon meal I don't know if they have much value but I do want these so I'm gonna just put them <laughs> in the real miscellaneous air pile down here even more miscellaneous <laughs> just random shit down here <laughs> like the more you go down the more miscellaneous it gets <laughs> like <laughs> anyway back up to here I think that's good uh, we don't care about Jason. Anyway, um, I have these Lost Nevada's playing cards that I got. Quackity merch. Um, I have the coin as well. And the Apex Legends little pin we got. Commemorative ALGS pin when I went to ALGS in North Carolina the last summer. So yeah. And of course I have different pins. Just miscellaneous anime pins that I've gotten from zines and stuff. I'm trying to say zines more yeah and just be glad you can't see what's up here <laughs> this used to look nice i had my um record player that's broken and then my two vinyls that i have my undertale vinyl and my uh castlevania vinyl can't oh, oh see i'm not you know what you're just gonna have to trust me it's there um and then my cat started to play with all this stuff that's up here because it wasn't it was like just on the floor when I got them. So I had to like move all of this stuff that they kept playing with and messing with. And now it's just sits up here and it's just a mess. <laughs> it's just a mess. Anyway, um, and then up here at the top, I have my Finn, Finn, Jake the dog plushie, a little lei that I got from my friend who is Hawaiian and she gave it to me and then never, she wanted it back. I never gave it back. Olivia, if you're watching this, I am so sorry that I never give it back to you. <laughs> I just like totally forgot about it and then we graduated from high school. Anyway, um, the TNT block from Minecraft and yeah, and some more pins that I really, really like. Okay, last but not least, I just wanna do a quick overview before you get some pretty B-roll and we end the video. This is my pin slash charm slash button slash um, yeah, corner. <laughs> This is what sits directly behind me when I film. So story behind these two real quick. Uh, these two are my old laptop case. Um, what happened is the hinges on my laptop broke and I really wanted to keep the stickers on it because I felt like I had just started putting stickers on it and I was really sad because these stickers were really cool. So when they fixed it and they were like, we're gonna have to replace the back cover. I was like, can I keep it? And they were like, yeah, you can keep it. Sure, why not, you know? weirdo but anyway um yes yeah, so that's what these are let me zoom in on them Alrighty. so lastly we have all of my charms these are just charms that i've collected mostly through zines but also um conventions and stuff i have a lot of one piece ones of course because i i i went on a rampage during like 2020 and i just bought a whole bunch of like one piece zines <laughs> and so that's a lot of the stuff that i have and of course jujutsu kaisen haikyuu etc etc we got a little bit of like batman up in there there's like there's robin damian wayne if she wants to focus
okay that is it um i hope you enjoyed this little video there's so much more to my room that i would love to show for you all if you guys are interested i still have like this nerdy corner is not done yet and i have so much more i want to do with it and yeah so i'm just gonna like let the b-roll play and i really hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you in my next one i'll see you in the next episode peace also all my social medias are linked down below you should totally follow me.